My name's Jim Carpenter. Uh, we're gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna make uh, spaghetti with a Mexican twist. So I've got uh, my cameraman again today, Jace. He's helping me out. And uh, we'll go over the uh, ingredients for this meal tonight. We're gonna have my daughter over and her kids and my sister and her husband. So we're gonna make a big spaghetti dinner. Uh, we're going to start with homemade Texas toast with uh, garlic spread. Uh, we've got ragu for the basic sauce. We've got salsa to give it the Mexican flavor. We've got pico de gallo to give it the Mexican flavor. And then two things that I like to use especially with the spaghetti and the chili are these guys here. And then we've got some fresh mushrooms. We've got some Parmesan cheese. And then just in case the sauce is too thin, we've got some tomato paste. And we have spaghetti noodles, thin ones. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna put this in a crock pot and let it um, summer all afternoon. We'll start with the uh, ragu. All right, just so we don't waste any. Put a little bit of water in here. Shake well. Okay, so now Mr. Cameraman, let's get our next ingredient. It's gonna be the salsa and the pico de gallo. Pico de Yeah, my pronunciation is probably off. You're right. Don't that look good? Okay, now my cameraman's helping me out a little bit. This is the pico de gallo, got onions, tomato, and cilantro. Put that in there. It smells good. Yeah, it does. Did you already have this loose for me? Yep. Took it off. There we go. All right. Good deal. Let's get the next ingredients. These guys here, might as well grab the mushrooms. Oh, that might have been a bit close, but maybe not. We'll put the mushrooms in next. If you don't want any of these, any of these ingredients, you can take them out. You don't have to follow the recipe strictly. And it's not really a recipe. This is shooting from the hip. I never really used re recipes. I just kind of wing it. So it's probably why you're not getting a, a cup of this and a cup of that. It's more so just pour it in there. And I usually don't get any complaints on my cooking.
what is it? Can you read it? I'm not sure. No, I can't. I'm not sure what the name of it is. I just know it's good. They can read it on the, the camera. Okay. That's that one. This is this one, Betty. For some reason my nose smells like spaghetti sauce. Yeah, well there's a lot of ingredients here, so I would imagine. Yeah, but I mean like my nose. Oh yeah. Okay, so. I think the only ingredient left is to make a paste and we actually might not need it might not need it there you go so but you always have to get it just in case right if it's too thin we want to thicken the sauce up so Betty let's look at this we'll kind of mix it up a little bit Does look good. Oh, it smells good. Of course, you can't smell it through the camera. You will just have to make it to find out what it smells like. Yep. Sure looks good. And after all this, we will check back in whenever it's all cooked. To show you guys the finished product. Yep, we sure will. And you'll get to see some more people. They'll be eating it. That was actually pretty quick. But you gotta make sure to finely stir. Otherwise, it might not be that good. Get it all mixed up good. We'll let this cook for a few hours. It's right now it's pretty thick, but after it simmers for a while it may thin down. So yeah. what we'll do, let's rinse the spoon off. There we go. Get us a paper towel. We'll set the, well, let's clean this little mess up. Get us another paper towel. Set the spoon down. Put the lid on. We got the temperature on high. And we'll just let her simmer for a while. All right, we'll be back with you. Okay, it's been about five hours. Let's see how the uh, uh, Mexican spaghetti sauce is doing now. All right, oh, look at that. Get a good close up of that, Betty. Mercy. Mm. Don't that look good? <laughs> Let's hope that it cooked long enough. It looks good to me. Could use a little bit of tomato paste, but I think it's going to be okay. Okay. Alright, so let's clean the spoon off. And, uh... 
We got a couple other things we need to do, don't we? We got to get the meatballs going. Now, normally, I like to make my own meatballs. Nice big ones with onions and all kinds of goodies in there. But we didn't have time. We didn't have time, so we're going to use these store-bought meatballs. We're going to put those in the skillet. Let them start warming up. Now I've got a, a son that eats like a horse, so we better... Put them all in there. All right, let's put the lid on there. Let those start warming up. Here we got we got the uh, water heating up for the spaghetti noodles. <clears throat> now we're going to start getting the. Uh, Oh, what are we going to call it? Garlic bread? I guess. Okay, that sounds good, don't it, Betty? We'll mm -hmm. make some garlic bread. So, we'll take this knife and we'll cut it up. And then put that on the pan. Yeah, we well, we got to put the spread on there. Okay. Make it a little bit thick like Texas toast, huh? What do you think? Mr. Chase. Chase from Huntsville, Alabama. Come up here to see his grandpa. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We're going to open the gifts. All right, so what we're going to do now is spread some of this garlic butter on here. And it looks like we got a phone ringing. It's in my pocket, Jace. It's just going to have to go to voicemail. It's over there. Don't that look good? Let's set that down right there. Let's get us another one going. Sorry about the phone ringing. I'm not going to let it interrupt my video. Because you know we are the YouTube stars, Betty. Not really, no. No, not really, but we're trying. Hopefully one day. Yep, you never know. We get enough of them likes and enough of them views, we can be something someday. Don't this look good? Mm-hmm. I hope this is quality butter, because I don't like using cheap butter. All right. You hear all that whispering in the background? Some of our company's already here. They're patiently waiting on us to get dinner made so they can eat. Some people not patiently. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut some more bread up, Chase. You should see guys. Chase is telling our company to be quiet over there. Chase is quiet. We're going to finish this video up. This bread is nice and soft. One more cut, Betty. What? Okay. All right, my cameraman's giving me pointers here. Make sure we get it all the way to the edge so it's buttered all the way. Okay. Now what we don't want to do is leave it in the oven too long. We don't want it to get hard. That'll be bad. Yeah. 
and then our guests to think I'm not a very good cook and we don't want that. Okay, we got one viewer that lives in Huntsville, Alabama. You know who I'm talking about. He goes to my daughter's Volvo shop and gets his car worked on. And we just wanted to say that we appreciate you watching our channel. I don't know if you've had an opportunity to meet Jace, but he's my cameraman and my grandson. Hi. So, if Julie calls me someday and says, hey, that guy was telling you about watched your video. We'll know you seen the video on spaghetti with a little bit of a Mexican, Mexican twist. twist. Oh yeah. That sounds good, don't it? Wow. There's just enough for spread for a whole loaf. Yeah, just enough for a whole loaf, and we got another loaf to do, but we won't waste everybody's time on that. We'll do that while the camera's off. And, thankfully, another thing of spread. Yep, we got another thing of spread and another loaf of bread. That rhymes. Yeah, it does. Okay, cameraman, let's do this. <clears throat> Let's take, we have the spaghetti, once the water comes to a boil, we'll put that in. Is it boiling? Oh yeah. yeah. It is, but the meatballs aren't ready yet, Chase, so we're going to have to wait a minute. Um, so, we're going to boil the noodles, we're going to heat the meatballs up, and then we'll get back with you and show you what it looks like. man. We've got the spaghetti noodles finished up. I'm gonna turn those off now. We have got the meatballs warmed up. And obviously we still have the spaghetti sauce over here. All right, so let's do this. Well, yeah. All right, keep up with me, cameraman. I'm gonna pick this up. Let me see how hot that is. Make sure you have a strainer. I have the strainer ready. Okay, let's do this. Take it over the, to the sink. Pour it in the strainer. Yeah, pour it in the strainer. And now, I'm gonna run some water in that pan so them leftover noodles don't stick. Cause that'll be bad. Yes, it will. Okay, so let's take the lid off of this. Mm. We got all this counter space here. Everybody's probably noticed that by now. All right, so let's do this. Tons. You ready to, to film this? We'll get the tongs. We'll get some spaghetti. Plop it onto the plate. plate. Okay, here, keep up with me, cameraman. Let's get some meatballs. You should film. Usually, usually I would put the meatballs in the sauce, but we have a problem. And the problem is... We don't have enough room. No, there's not enough room in the sauce because we're baking so much today. Alright, so we'll get a few meatballs on there. Come over here, cameraman. Let's get the sauce on here. We can turn this down now. Let's get some sauce. Well, get, focus on the plate a little bit, cameraman. I really don't like seeing these meatballs without sauce on them. Let's do this. Okay. Some nice saucy meatballs. Yes, sir. Now, let's find out who wants the first plate of food. All right, take a good look at that. And then we're going to... Uh, we're gonna go ahead 
and start dinner for everybody. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and thank you for watching.